okay, so the reason that you clicked on this video is that your RAM memory speed is something more than 2400 megahertz per second. In my case, it's 3600 but your PC does not recognize it. In this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can enable the XMP profile on your motherboard so you can use your memory RAM on its full potential. Without any further ado, let's get down to business. First off, in order to find out what frequency does your RAM perform in on on your PC, you need to enter my computer, my PC, one way or another. In some empty area, you just need to right click, then show more option, then properties. In your case, it might be just slightly different. Just right click properties, and then a new page will be opened. And in some section, in some area, it said installed RAM. In my case, it's 16 gigabytes performing on 3600 megahertz per second, exactly as what it mentioned in here. We can find out the XMP has successfully been enabled in my computer, but in your case, if it's performing on 2400 or any number other than and lower than the number that mentioned on your, I mean, the box of your memory, you definitely need to enable the XMP profile on your PC because you will definitely get somewhere around 15 to 20% more FPS. And also the latency on your mouse and keyboard will drastically be removed and reduced if you are playing some competitive online games. Another thing that I need to mention is that some of y'all be like, the BIOS is just scary. And I'd be like, Bro, come on, just be a miner. Be a man. Just send it, dude. Bias is honestly not that scary. What are you scared enough? Lean into your fears, my brothers. Get into it. The only point that you need to consider is that the keyboard combination for your motherboard a brand just slightly different in different brands. And I have put the link down in the description for your specific motherboard. So you can just click on the link and just find out the exact combination that you need to press on your keyboard to be able to enter BIOS. Let's get into the BIOS and proceed the tutorial. Okay, so here's the main and default BIOS environment. But as you can see in here, it says XMP profile and by default, it's disabled. First off, you need to enable this and I'll strongly recommend you not to stop in here and head over to advanced mode in the bottom right corner. Click on it and under the section of AR tweaker, click on it and a tab says AR overclock tuner. Okay, so by default, it's on auto. You need to head over and put it first off on XMP1 and test it for a week or couple under the XMP1 conditions, right? If that was okay, you then good to proceed to XMP2 because it will put your PC under just a slightly more uh, pressure. Head over down in here under DRAM frequency. It most probably set to 2400 megahertz per second, right? You need to change this as well to the exact number that's mentioned on your memory RAM box. In my case, it's 3600, right? Just click on it and I'm good with XMP2 because I'm sure that it's working fine on my PC, but you better start with XMP1 if you, two, if you have two options, okay? Click on exit and then it says save changes and reset, right? Click. In my case, there is no changes to be made, but in your case, there has to be a list of changes. By clicking OK, your PC will be restarted. I'm gonna head over and click OK. If all the changes that you've done was not working and your Windows was not able to boot up, you can just simply redo all of the changes. So it's nothing to worry about. It was it all nothing hard, nothing fancy? It was it all on how you can enable the XMP profile to be able to get the most out of your memory RAM. Please subscribe to my channel. Please just leave a like down there below if you find any value in this content. I mean, I'm trying my best to uh, create the most quality videos for you guys. Take care of yourself and see you in the next one.